Hi everyone, it's Miss Lee again, and we are back with pop-up story time. Today's story is called Max Found Two Sticks by Brian Pinkney. Here we go. There we go. It was a day when Max didn't feel like talking to anyone. He just sat on his front steps and watched the clouds gather in the sky. A strong breeze shook the tree in front of his house and Max saw two heavy twigs fall to the ground. What are you gonna do with those sticks? Max's grandpa asked as he washed the front windows. Not saying a word, Max tapped on his thighs. Pat, pat, tap. Putter, putter, pat, tap. His rhythm imitated the sound of the pigeons, startled into flight. When Max's mother came home carrying new hats for his twin sisters, she asked, what are you doing with grandpa's cleaning bucket, son? Max responded by patting the bucket. Tap, tap, tap. Tippity tap, tap, tap. He created the rhythm of the light rain falling against the front windows. After a while, the clouds moved on and the sun appeared. Cindy, Sean, and Jamal showed up drinking sodas. Hey, Max, what you doing with those hat boxes? Again, Max didn't answer. He just played on the boxes. Dum, dum, dee, dum. Dee, 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 dum, dum. Max drummed the beat of the tom-toms in a marching band. What are you up to with those soda bottles? He asked as he, asked as he brought, excuse me, his dad asked as he brought up the garbage cans on his way to work. Max answered on the bottles. Dong, dang, dung. Ding, dong, ding. His music joined the chiming of the bells in the church around the corner. Soon the twins came out to show off their new hats. Hey, Max, they asked. What are you doing with those garbage cans? Max hammered out a reply on the cans. Cling, clang, da bang. A cling, clang, the bang. Max pounded out the sound of the wheels thundering down the tracks under the train on which his father worked as a conductor. Suddenly, Max heard thump, dee dee thump, thump, dee dee thump, as a marching band rounded the corner. Max watched the drummers with amazement as they passed, copying their rhythms. The last drummer saw Max. Then with a nod and a wink, he tossed Max his spare set of sticks. Thanks, Max called, and he didn't miss a beat. The end. And this book is called Max Found Two Sticks. 
written by Brian Pinkney. I hope you enjoyed this book and I will see you back next time at Pop-Up Storytime. Bye!